Russian samovar has been serving New Yorkers traditional Russian plates for more than 35 years. But since the Russian invasion of Ukraine, it says it's been struggling to fight an onslaught of anti-Russian sentiment. We've been getting a lot of, uh, like, hate calls, you know, people calling them, I'm a female dog, so we hope your business burns to the ground, calling us fascists, calling us Nazis. Misha Von Schott's grandfather opened his piano bar in Manhattan when he emigrated from the then-Soviet Union. Its staff is made up of immigrants from both Russia and Ukraine, many of whom still have family back home. One of our um, servers, her family is uh, stuck in Kharkiv uh, in bomb shelters for like the whole month. Uh, we have one of our own who's been with us for about 10 years. He was stuck in Odessa. Thankfully, he got out about two weeks ago, and most of our staff's family is still stuck there. But, you know, we're doing anything and everything we can to, you know, prop up business, bring, bring money into the restaurant so we can give more to them as well. They've tried to show support for Ukraine, putting up anti-war signs and holding fundraisers for Ukrainian troops. But they say their beloved business is still being vandalized. We're the new villains. You know, this Russophobia 2.0. We had a, a sign, a flag out that one of our staff uh, drew up. It said it's a Ukrainian flag and it had freedom across it and has been missing since Saturday. You know, it's like, why would you take that down? The collateral damage affecting business. First day after the war, we dropped about 20 reservations within less than 12 hours. Uh, business was down uh, that following Friday, 60 percent, 70 percent that following Saturday. Over in Brighton Beach, Bobby Rackman decided to change the name of his market from Taste of Russia to International Food. And other Russian-owned businesses battle similar problems. When we're seeing this type of violence and negativity towards Russian immigrants in America, how does that impact their life here? Yeah, obviously, it's a very bad uh, situation, a very bad story. No one should be uh, vandalized or uh, somehow mistreated just because they come from a country that uh, has the misfortune of being ruled by a dictator uh, that is uh, waging this uh, horrific war. At least 10 states have removed Russian liquor from their shelves. In Canada, Russian pianist Alexander Malafiev had his performances canceled, and the UK's Royal Opera House canceled a planned residency by Moscow's Bolshoi Ballet. Anti-Russian sentiment has even made its way up the steps of the U.S. Capitol. Frankly, I think closing their embassy in the United States, uh, kicking every Russian student out of the United States, uh, those should all be on the table. As the war rages on, business owners like Misha are worried they'll feel the brunt of the world's growing Russophobia. We're not for war. None of our staff is for war. Most of my Russian staff and our Ukrainian staff, like the Russian staff, is embarrassed. It's governments playing war and we're left, you know, dealing with the repercussions. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.